Materials can have varying levels of opacity, and this can be controlled either on a slider or through the alpha channel in a texture. Let's cover the slider first. I'll select a color and assign it to these two faces. I'll go back to the SketchUp color picker and adjust the opacity slider. Notice that nothing seems to happen. That's because the slider is not active unless you are officially editing the material. On the PC, click the Edit tab. On the Mac, double click the thumbnail for the material. Now the material is active for editing and this slider now works. I can drag this down and start to make the material more and more transparent or less and less opaque. And as I do that, we can start to see through the object here. This is what I call a global approach to opacity because it affects the entire surface. You can control exactly where on a surface an object is to become transparent by using an alpha channel within a texture. For that, we need a separate application such as Photoshop to work with pixels. Here I've opened a piece of my personal artwork that I'd like to bring into SketchUp, and I'd like to have it become transparent around the circle. So I'll use the magic wand tool to make a selection. I'll go to the channels panel and create a new channel, which is called alpha one by default. Press D to select the default colors and then option delete to fill the selection with the foreground color. In this case, it's white in the area that I'd like to become transparent, but that's actually backwards. So what I need to do is deselect and then press command I to invert the alpha channel. Now this is as it should be. The white area indicates what will be opaque and the black area indicates what is transparent. You can have shades of gray in an alpha channel to create partial transparency. I'll just go back to the RGB channels and save this in a format that supports alpha channels. In this particular case, I'll save it as a Photoshop document. You could also save it as a TIFF. Both of these formats support alpha channels. I'll save it, go back to SketchUp, and create a new texture. Select the image that you just saved from Photoshop, and click OK to give it a size. Notice in the thumbnail, you can see that the alpha channel is active. The area around the circle is hidden. Now I'd like to assign this, so I'll select the material, and then I'll click on the top surface here. You can see right away that the area around the circle is transparent. And now if I want to just have one piece of art here on this surface, I'll need to go ahead and adjust the texture position. I'll move this over and scale it up. 